Uh, the week between Christmas and New Year's always seems like a good time to look back on the year that was. Today's Compute This tackles the best of 2015 for Schrock Innovations. Here to take us down memory lane, Thor Schrock from Schrock Innovations. Good to see you, Thor. Good to see you guys. Thanks for having me. Good I morning. appreciate it. Oh, yeah. I, I, this is going to be fun because yeah. we've talked about a lot of stuff this year on these segments. Uh, where do you want to start? What? Well, well, let's start here. You know, one of the things that, that we do in my family is we always, at this time of year, we say, what are our goals for, you know, the next year, for 2016? And, of course, you know, I'm, I'm still in, like, full all-out, get the computers out the door for Christmas mode. So I'm like, here's this goal and here's that goal. And my wife's like, that's fine, honey. Those are great goals for Schrock. What are our goals? Right. You know, <laughs> I don't like, oh. Back yeah. to us. Well, that's your department. Yeah. That's not me. I mean, yeah. you just go ahead and set away. I'll figure it out. Uh, so, you know, we try to set goals, you know, goals for the company or goals for the family or whatever. And then throughout the next year, we try to meet those goals. So this time of year, we always kind of look back and say, you know, how did we do? Did we did we meet the goals we wanted to meet? Uh, did we miss a few or what? Um, and this year over at Schrock, I mean, it, it you know, just an amazing year. Just the number of, of things that were thrown at us that we just didn't expect that uh, that we had to kind of roll with the punches. So it was it was really an amazing Fun year. One of the biggest things you guys do is data recovery, uh, yeah. specifically for business. Well, businesses and then consumers who it's have. It's about a 50 50 split. Yeah. Any, yeah. any big projects you took on that you say, well, I saved this company or person from disaster? We, ha we had a few companies that we uh, recovered. You know, great example was a guy who uh, does Christmas light shows. You know, in the world, he'll put your house in the paper and your neighbors hate you because right. you have an animated light display right. and there's like a line around the block and you can never get into your neighborhood. I was like, I should do that. And then I, we went and looked at one, and then I was like, no, I'm never doing that. <laughs> I'll be the pariah of the neighborhood. There's only one way in and out of our neighborhood. I'd be the pariah. Ooh. But, uh, you know, so there was a guy who had one of those Christmas light shows on his computer, and his hard drive died. And when you go look at those houses that have the animated light shows, you don't realize. When they're timed to music? Yeah, or yeah. Sure, yeah. yeah. That's you know, you think, oh, wow, look at all the time it took to set up those lights. Because I know I put one string on my roof, and that took me like two hours. You know, look at this guy. He's got like 60,000 lights. Imagine how long it took to go up. I can promise you the amount of time it took to put up the lights was nothing compared to the amount of time it took to program the light show to music. Yeah. It's um, gotta be that's a all huge done with a program. It's yep, done it's all done on a computer. And his hard drive died. And he was like, you know, if you can recover that for me, it'll save me about 600 hours of work. Wow. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. That, I mean, so, you know, we do recoveries for companies. They'll lose their QuickBooks, lots of small businesses, things yeah. like that. Because we have the equipment here in Omaha to do it. In the past, you had to, every computer repair shop, we get these things in the mail from, uh, you know, DataRecoveryExperts.com, you know, send this job to us for recovery and we'll give you a 10% cut. And so all these, all these, you know, little independent computer repair shops, you know, sit down and say, well, we have data recovery. And then you bring your job in and they mail it off. And then mm -hmm. a couple days later you get a quote and then you decide to do it or not. And it's like, no, I don't want to do it. I'll come pick it up. And they're like, well, come in like three days and you can come pick it up. It's because they're having it shipped back to them. They don't actually do mm -hmm. the work. But when you have that middleman in the middle, they're not just giving a 10 or 20% cut. You know, the customer is paying that. So when we have all the equipment to do data recoveries, that means that we're 10, 20, 30% cheaper than outsourcing it. So it works out really well. So we added a new piece of equipment this year, the, the PC3000. Um, everyone in data recovery is always waiting for the magic machine. The machine you just hook the drive up to and press the get the data button <laughs> right, and it right. just gets exactly. it. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to do get anything. Get the data you button. Know, I love cons that. Consumers would love that idea and a lot, some consumers think that's how it works. We just have a get the data button. We don't. Yeah. Uh, every drive is different. Every, it's like a medical patient. Every patient's different. Every drive has different symptoms or different problems that have to be dealt with differently. But uh, there is actually a machine that has been made by uh, one of the top recovery companies. It's a cloud-based machine. And what it does is you put your drive on it, and it goes out on the Internet, and it says these are all the common afflictions that hit this drive that all of our other users of this machine have seen, mm. and here's all the fixes for those. So if it's a common affliction that the drive has, it can automatically fix it, and then you can take it over to the imager and image it, which means a faster recovery, less skilled labor time, which brings mm. the price down. Unfortunately, the machine is like $20,000, mm -hmm. <laughs> so you've got to kind of recover that too, but, uh, but the bottom line is we're looking at that's our next purchase next year is to, yeah. is to get that because it's in beta till February. We're not sure we want to jump in while it's in beta still. But. Right. I was explaining to Nikki what the Allen Band is. It's a big year in, yes. in regards to the, the development of the Allen Band. Yeah, we went, uh, we went from zero to 60 on that project. That was something that kind of came out of left field. You know, my dad fell in May and was 24 hours on the floor and he almost died, and I said, oh, I wish I'd have known. So I wanted to, to make a device that would have alerted me if my dad's immobile. And so we came up with this idea. I bounced it off my radio show listeners. The support was overwhelming for it. Um, so we went ahead and contracted with a factory and started to get the process done. This is the exterior design of the Allen Band that you're mm -hmm. seeing there now. 
Um, we have to do the internal design, and before we can do that, we have to build what's called an API. It's the programming interface mm -hmm. that t it's how the Allen Band will communicate with the servers. Um, so we made some, some acquisitions of talent at Schrock Innovations to, to make that API happen, and we should have that rolled out in January, which uh, puts us on track for a December delivery of the Allen Band. So that was, that, wow. was, that was an example of something that we would never would have seen coming, that uh, you know, we did an Indiegogo campaign and raised, I think, close to $40,000 yeah, yeah. in, in a month. A lot of success How with exciting. that. I mean, it was it, the first time we've ever done anything like that, and the outpouring of support was just mm -hmm. phenomenal. Well, there has to be a huge need for people just oh, like yeah. you who found themselves in the situation. Yeah, we've had thinking. meetings with the Methodist Health System. We've had meetings with uh, a number of, uh, uh, you know, senior care facilities, things like that. You know, it doesn't do, a, all the senior care facilities, like, we wanted to do all the critical things yours does, but we wanted to count steps and monitor activity and have a social sharing app so they can share it with their friends. And, you know, sometimes you got to look at what some of these places want and they realize, you know you're dealing with, like, 60 to 90-year-olds, right? They don't even like smartphones. Right. <laughs> they're, not, they're not going to share be so, their, so their, their steps with friendly. their friends. You know, they might yeah. talk about it over coffee or breakfast, so measuring it maybe is important, but all these extra things, you're asking for features that a 20-something will use, but not a 60-something. And that was when we designed the Allen Band. When we went to the factories, you know, we could tell the factories who knew what they were doing from those who didn't, because mm -hmm. if they started talking to us about, you know, and you can GPS track them and figure out exactly where they are. Right. Yeah. I guess that's great if your kid ever gets kidnapped, or you know, maybe if your mom or dad has Alzheimer's, you know, and they wander, you know, yeah. you might be able to find them. Yeah. But that's not a core function of the Allen Band. The core function of the Allen Band is to get you help when you need it and leave you the alone when you don't need help. Yeah. <laughs> and time is so critical yeah. in those moments, too. In 2015, uh, Windows also rolled out Windows 10. Yes. The good, the bad, and ugly that you saw. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, well, <laughs> good and bad was um, Windows 10 was rolled out, and at first it was presented as a, hey, you should do this. This is something you can get for free. Isn't that awesome? Then they call it the NAG screen. This is the screen, if you haven't upgraded to Windows 10 yet and your computer is capable of running Windows 10, you get this NAG screen that pops up. Now, and it gets more and more insistent. Eventually, it will just do it. But right now, they're still getting more and more insistent. Now they're down to, do you want to install it today or tonight? Those are the choices you get when you, when you get the NAG screen. Some people click on the X in the top right corner, and then it asks them again in like an hour. Uh, wow. <laughs> yeah, right. So yeah. it's getting kind of good insistent. Name. So the good <laughs> thing is Windows 10 is an amazing operating system. It's really done amazing things for people. Once, once you get through that initial hump of something that's new, mm -hmm. um, it's so much smoother and so much more put together than Windows 8 was. Mm -hmm. The trouble is they released an update. This is the bad. They released an update, the fall update in November, and it caused a lot of people's screens to flash, like to mm. just start flashing. And so they've had to come in for repair work. So we've had some confusion on whether or not it's a warranty or not. It's not a warranty, just like any other update that goes and screws something up. You know, you gotta you gotta get it fixed. Um, so that that's been the bad. The, the the good and the bad is there's no more updates till like March. Right. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> but if you're having problems with your computer, take it into Schrock Innovations. A couple of locations around the metro, one in Lincoln as well. Have a great uh, have a great New Year's. We'll see you in 2016. Thor Stradamus predictions. Yes. He's gonna give them to me later this week, okay, and I will bring week? them to you next week. Perfect. Monday. All right. Thanks, Look Thor. Thanks, guys.